Hey, good morning, Adventure family. We just waking up from our campsite here, just making our way out of here. Wifey, it's actually opening up the gate so I could drive through. We actually got out, type in a like little passcode and stuff just to get into this little campsite here. You had to register online. It's actually free, but you got to register online. And you got actually camp with horses and stuff they actually be having on the property here and it's gators and all types of stuff here. But we came super late last night. We couldn't um, get to see the area too much and uh, we are leaving out and it's early in the morning. So we got to try and hit the road so we can get back home. We got a long way to get back home. Got a couple of hours. Well, almost a, a day and a half. So, you know, we're going to be on the road for a long time. So we're going to go out there. Hopefully, going to get to enjoy ourselves throughout the roads and stuff. Make our way back home. And um, hopefully, you guys going to enjoy. So let's get out here. Just waiting for wife to get back onto the car. She's locking up the gate again. And uh, we're going to get back onto the road and enjoy our day. We are on the road now. Even out where we um, stood at. That's where we stood at last night. Just in that um, little field. Just all the way to the back. And there was Mosquito City back over there. And okay, we're back on the road here, getting onto the main highway up here. So guys, we are now leaving Florida. Just getting onto the highway here. Just jumped onto Route 95 North. And home we go. It means we got a long ride to go, so let's enjoy it. Let's go enjoy these views. guys it's going on 6 30 now uh, we've been on the road all day just driving i um, have been raining off and on but we're here at applebee's we're gonna go in there and go get something to eat because my stomach growling sound like a pit you know I me mean? in the backyard i haven't get fat but i'm gonna get on the highway once i um get back and get out of here out of the applebee's and stuff once we grub up but i'll see you guys once we finish eating and um once we get back into the highway we're gonna go to georgia because we kind of close to georgia right now we're about a few say like probably like an hour or some change to georgia so we might just probably call it a night at georgia and just rest up early because um, i'm a little exhausted for driving we've been up super early today just driving and i'm in a little exhausted so once i get it done eating and stuff like that we're gonna search up a little spot probably just rest at a little rest area but i need some rest and um, we're gonna wake up super early tomorrow and um continue on with our day continue on making our way back home and all that good stuff but let's go in here and eat up because i'm talking too much and i'm starving a few moments later Ooh, guys, that food was yummy. My stomach is on food. Look at it. My stomach feel like I'm a pregnant guy. <laughs> but we were here getting onto the 95, going back north, and making our way home. And it's already getting dark compared to when we went into Applebee's. It was a little bit lighter now. But we're getting onto the highway here, and we're about to go again. So let's go and let's finish driving.
guys, we just got here to the little service plaza. Um, it looks like a little day here, so hopefully we get a good sleep. I'm exhausted, had to get off the highway. Was doing a little swerving over there in the highway. Had to pull over here in this little service spot. So I can rest up for the rest of the night, wake up super early. Hopefully we can get up early and um, hit the roads, continue on making our way back to Philadelphia. You know, we still got a long way. We got like 11, 12 hours to continue on. So, you know, we got a long day to go tomorrow. So let's rest up. Get our energy back and hit the roads early in the morning and continue on our journey going back home. So I'll see you guys in the morning time. I'm taking it down because my eyes getting heavy, but I'll see you in the morning time. Peace. So good morning, guys. The next day we're just getting up and um, we're already starting off with a rainy day. Oh man, I hope it doesn't rain all day, but it's 5.30 and we're going to hit the roads and continue making our way home. So let's get on the highway and let's go, guys. We're leaving out the little ruster right here. Jumping on to the 95 North. Let's get up to this ramp up here. We are back on the highway, guys. There's a couple cars already up on here. And it's 540. And we rolling. I'm just got done taking a shower, filling up the navigator, and then we ready to hit the road. It's a McDonald's actually across the street. We're gonna get a little breakfast before we continue on so we can get some energy in our system and um, then hit the highways and all that good stuff. But let's get out of this little um, travel section here and let's make it to that McDonald's and get our food so we can eat it. you heading out of the parking lot. Just turning up here, continuing on straight to the McDonald's just up ahead. So guys, we back for McDonald's. Got our food. Got me a little uh, bacon, egg, and cheese on a biscuit. I was hoping for a bacon, egg, and cheese on a bagel, but you know, all this COVID stuff, they canceled the um, bagels and the ranch and all that stuff from McDonald's. So everything's limited. So gotta eat what we gotta eat. But I'm gonna bust a grub, and I'll see y'all when I finish and once we get back onto the road. So I'll see y'all in a few, guys. And guys, we ate up and we leaving McDonald's now. I'm about to get onto the highway. And I'm start making our way home. Hopefully we can make it today home. And I think we should be able to make it because we only got like 10 hours and a few minutes. So we should be able to make it today. So let's hit the roads and let's continue on.
So guys, you just here at the little service area down south of the border. This is one of the largest uh, rest areas. They got a multiple things here to do. Um, so I guess since this COVID is going on, a lot of stuff is closed here. But they got a lot of like little sculptures and stuff out through the side of the road here. Like little statues of bears, little dinosaurs, all types of crazy things. But we actually going into like this little gift shop here. Gonna check the gift shop out, see if they got some food and stuff around here, whatever's open. But it looks like it's all closed here because it's COVID stuff going on. But let me come out here and show you guys a little better. We right underneath the south of the border sign. Just up there. Got the little Mexican guy with his sombrero. And we're gonna be walking into this little gift shop, see what this thing about. So let's go in and let's check it out. And we are in. Let's go explore. Look at this thing. <laughs> Imagine putting that in front of your house. Just walking in and everybody's seeing cool things throughout the store here. And they got some cool stickers. You know I gotta um, load up for the navigator. Look at this. Stick of heaven. So I'm just looking around. Just wasting some time. Had my body get a little stretched out. Cause doing all that driving got me exhausted. Been on the road since early this morning, since like 5.30. And it's pretty about like, let me see. It's about, gonna be one o'clock. Dang, I've been on the road for quite a while. Well, I'm just here stretching my legs out. Just doing a little walking around the store here. And I'm um, copping up some merch. Seeing some things that we could bring back home with us for cocoa and all that good stuff. And get some stickers for the Navigator, you know. It's a whole bunch of stuff here. I'll probably go broke if I try and get everything here. A lot of cool things here. So guys, we just walked out of the store. I didn't really see too much. I just got some stickers. Um, just walking around the area, see what's around here. So we can grub up a little bit. See something across the street, like a little food spot over there. So we might go over there and see what they got us out of there. Look at this, a little motorcycle shop here. And they got some old school motorcycle. Look at that, they're bright. And see, they selling them drugs. Let's go check these um, old school bikes out. Well, oh, they look fresh. Oh, so they're actually not for sale. Man, these things in good shape though for being the age. I remember I used to have this kind too. It's like an 80 something model here. I should have kept mine just for collectors. And I had the same one like this, look. I had the same exact one, I remember? That's the one I first met. I used to come meet you at the school with. <laughs> I love this, is a professional bike. It's signed and everything. I don't know what it says on there. That's hot though. And that's the same exact bike I used to have. That's a good running bike right there. Look at this thing here. That's a nice one too, and this sign. They signed the frame on this one. I can't really see what it says, so like scribbling. Try. <laughs> I'm not a, um, I don't know my dirt bike riders like that. <laughs> but I don't know them at all. There's like another little gift shop here. But they got a whole bunch of more old bikes over here. I'm gonna go look at that. In fact, over here you see all the older um, dirt bikes. So look at all these bikes back here. Damn, they loaded up with bikes, huh? Some nice ones too, because I like this one right here. Even though it's an older one, but dang, this is a nice bike. These are probably for sale. Nah, I think they're just for show. Shit, that thing for sale. I don't want it. I don't care how old that thing is. That thing is in perfect shape. Look at this one, too. This one is nice. This setup right here is real nice. Look at the seat on this thing here. I like that custom seat on it. And look at this old dirt bike. These are like the first dirt bikes. <laughs> look at them, John. That thing nice. Look at the condition on that thing now. This is in super excellent condition. So we just left out of that store there. They had a whole bunch of old school motorcycles, like old school dirt bikes and stuff like that. That thing is amazing. But we crossing the street over here. I'm gonna get a little munchy in our stomach. So let's go. Cross over here before we get hit by this big truck coming. 
We don't want to be no broke here. Man, look at that um, red hot dog. <laughs> so we passing the dog there. Just crossing the street here, going up to this little food spot here. We're gonna see what they got here. They said they got tacos, chili. They got all types of stuff here. So we're gonna go in here, see what kind of stuff they got a munch on. And hopefully they food is good. It smells good. The sign just hit me. Walking in. Let's see what this place got to eat. So guys, we're just making our way out of here. We're gonna jump back onto the road, find something on the road. It wasn't really too much to eat in there. So we're gonna head out of here and I'm get back onto the highway. Let's walk back over here to our navigator over here, parked across the street. Thanks to a little gift shop. And let's try not to get hit again while we cross. So guys, we just got back onto the 95 North. We just got done leaving out the um, south border, little travel stop there. That's the, one of the largest um, little travel stops. But a lot of stuff was closed because it's COVID stuff going on. But we left out of there. We jumped back on the highway trying to make our way back home. And um, we got a, still a long way to go. We got uh, seven hours and 34 minutes to continue on. So that means that's most of our day. So let's continue on. Let's finish enjoying these views. And um, just enjoy it. Guys, um, we almost home. We got starving. We was on the road. We trying to keep it straight. We, we trying to hold a hunger, but as soon as we got close to Philly, we about like a, I say like two hours away from home, and then we stopped at a pizza hut, grab a little food to grub up, and then we can continue our drive and try to make our way home. Hopefully, we can make it home all the way. But let's see. Once we grab up, we're gonna head back onto the highway and continue on with our drive in a few seconds. Once we um grab up, cause you already know. Both so guys, we're back on the road, just got done eating, you know, got a little bit more energy, so let's make our way home. we actually a little bit closer than what I said, I said two hours, we are hour and 50 minutes, put that 10 minutes in a little less. So let's keep on going, and let's make our way home. Guys, we back in Philly. Just made it back. It was a long drive. Time to get comfortable and take it down because I'm exhausted. But I'll see you guys on my next adventures. Hope you guys enjoyed the journey. But we had a blast. I hope you guys had a blast also. But I'll see you next time. So make sure you guys turn on the notification bell. Turn on the, uh, hit that subscribe button. And uh, make sure you guys check out the website. Go support the um, adventures. And get yourself a hoodie, a t-shirt. And um, yeah, come support the um, adventures and join the family. But I'll see you guys next time. Peace. See you on the next adventures.